Google, turn on smart lamp. Hey Google, turn off smart lamp. Turn on smart lamp. Hello, hello, my name is Caroline. Thanks for joining me for this video. I produce weekly tech videos on IoT and smart assistants and Raspberry Pi. And this week I have for you, I'm gonna set up this Broadlink smart plug and I'm gonna set it up on my Amazon Echo and my Google Home. And that is your reminder, please do mute your devices. I do try to edit out the wake words to try not trigger your devices, but sometimes I miss a few. Now let's get started. says it works with Alexa and Google Home, assistant voice control, control from anywhere, schedule timers, away mode, max working time, sunrise, sunset mode. Okay, that's what it says. Let's start with the unboxing. Ta -da! And right on top, right when you open it, you see the smart plug. And then we'll take that out. I think this is gonna be pretty simple. And inside is our documentation. And the documentation is quick setup guide and a smart plug. Here's what the instructions kind of look like. I'm not required to download the app that goes with this device. So we're going to see how that goes in this video. Let's switch over and we're going to plug this in. See how this goes. All right, plugged in. And I do have this little uh, USB lamp. Generally speaking, you would use this with a table lamp, floor lamp of some kind that you would be able to turn off and on after you set this up. It is starting to blink. From my phone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna look at Wi-Fi and I'm gonna see if this comes up as a Wi-Fi device. And sure enough, it says Broadlink Wi-Fi device right here. Hit that. Okay, it says I'm connected to the Broadlink Wi-Fi. Okay, now it's prompting me. It says select the router in which this device will be connected. Only 2.4 gigahertz, select Wi-Fi network. Now I'm gonna uh, type in my Wi-Fi input password. And then I can use email to activate my device. Yeah, that'd be great. What is the name of my device? I'm gonna call it a smart lamp. They do prefer that you have two word names for your smart plugs. Hit next. And then now I need to tap connect now to connect the device to the router. After the device is online, I'll get a confirmation email. I need to search and enable Broadlink skill service within the Alexa or Google Home app, then sign in with my email address. If I don't receive the email, check my spam folder. I'm gonna hit, I have read the above information. I'm gonna hit connect now. And this page might be closed automatically after the device is successfully connected to the router. Okay, let's see. All right, device is connecting to the router. And then, okay, I'm back on my home Wi-Fi now. And I think I need to check my email now. And here we go. I've got an email from Broadlink now. It says, congratulations, my smart lamp has been connected to my Wi-Fi router and the Broadlink IoT cloud. And now I can use Alexa or Google Home to add my devices to the Broadlink skill. On the skill account linking page, please choose no app to log in with this email account. Alternatively, you can download the free Broadlink app and register a new account using this email address. Let's try this out here. So now it looks like I need to go to my Amazon Alexa app on my phone. I'm in the Amazon Alexa app now. Now I'm gonna go into more, which is in the bottom right hand corner. And there are uh, skills and games. I'm gonna click on that, choose that, select that, touch that. Now I'm searching for Broadlink, Broadlink Smart Home. I'm gonna hit enable to use. Uh, am I in Europe? No, I'm not in Europe. Okay, and I'm gonna hit no app on the bottom. Enter my email address, hit next. All right, so now a verification code has been sent to my email address. Now I gotta go back and check my email. And I've got a verification code. And let's hope I typed in the verification code correctly. I can link my accounts if I so choose. I'm gonna skip that and let's see if this works. All right, my Broadlink account has been successfully linked. All right, what to do next? Close this window to discover smart home devices. You can control. And I'm gonna hit okay. And then it says I can hit discover devices. So let's try that out. Discover devices, it's looking for devices. Sure enough, my Echo Dot lights up. 
Now on my Alexa app on my phone here, it always said, hey, I can't find new devices. But when I go to devices, which is second from the bottom on the right here, and I hit devices and I hit plugs and I start scrolling down, my lamp is right here. It says smart lamp, that's what I named it. If I say, Alexa, turn smart lamp on. Alexa, turn smart lamp off. And you can also control it from your app here. So I'll just hit on, there it goes, turns on and off and it turns itself off. So um, even though I didn't get the, hey, we've discovered new devices, when I went through my plugs, sure enough, it was right there. But hey, it does work. Now let's go for Google Home and let's try to set this up with Google Home. Now on my smartphone, I'm gonna hit Google Home and I'm gonna set this up with my Google Home. From my Google Home app, I'm gonna hit the plus in the top left-hand corner. I'm gonna select set up a device. Then I'm gonna choose have something already set up, works with Google. Okay, excellent. And then now I see this huge list here and I can search, I'm gonna search for Broadlink. Right there, Broadlink, select Broadlink. And no, I'm not in Europe, no. Then I, now I'm gonna hit no app. Uh, I'm gonna go through the same process, type in my email address, hit next and then I should get a seven digit verification code and I'll go check my email for my verification code. There it is. Now um, I'm not gonna link any accounts, I'm gonna hit skip. And Broadlink is now linked. And okay, and here it is, Smart Lamp. And here it is, Smart Lamp comes right up. I've, I've selected it and I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna choose my home, uh, next. And then now I need to choose a room for my device. I am going to select office, next. And now I have a, a smart lamp in my office. Let's try to turn it on and off from the app first. Oh, there it goes. And I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, now let's try this out with our Google Home. Hey Google, turn on smart lamp. There it is. Hey Google, turn off smart lamp. And uh, there it goes, it works, okay? And that is the entire tutorial right there. So this video was setting up a Broadlink smart plug with Alexa and Google Home. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bye now.